everybody, this is Sarah Catherine Gutierrez back with this week's Save Yourself column and today we are talking about home ownership. Now this is more of a just a rem friendly reminder of what we are thinking about when we're buying a house and we're going to be talking about home ownership probably quite a bit. We're in a seller's market. A lot of people are making some pretty pivotal decisions, what I call kind of trajectory decisions on their home ownership. And this is just a reminder that this is a big deal. Um, there is no such thing as stretching into buying a home. As I talk about, we don't stretch, we bend. And so if you find yourself in a situation where you're not saving enough right now for retirement, you still have credit card debt that you haven't been able to pay off, that maybe you're still living a little bit operationally break even. So, you know, paycheck to paycheck is another way to call that. Um, you know, there might be stories in your mind about this home being an investment, about why stop throwing away money and rent, but I can assure you that it is far better to be renting and living paycheck to paycheck than buying and being in that situation because so much more, like a, a really ill-timed home repair can really, uh, can take, can take your, your finances off for a dive. Now, if you are in a different situation where you've bought the home, maybe you stretched into this home that you're buying now and you can't seem to get ahead, you find yourself in a situation where you might be thinking about backing down a retirement uh, contribution because you can't quite make ends meet because you are carrying credit card debt month to month. If you find yourself in that situation, it's interesting, homes, because they become such a permanent piece of our lives, are not what we naturally default to thinking about, like, wow, maybe my home is unaffordable, maybe I need to be looking for alternatives. But this is a reminder that indeed it could be the home that is causing you to have a lot of, of financial stress, that kind of stress that doesn't end, that that month to month kind of anxiety. And I would challenge you, do my affordability principle. Look at it. Are you paying a payment that's more than 14% of your gross monthly income? That might be why you feel stressed out all the time. I love seeing people who downsize homes and they come back and say, oh my gosh, like I, I would not uh, give one you, you know, upgrade to my home that could take me back to feeling the way I used to feel when I was making those payments and living a pretty financially stressful life. So just a good old fashioned kind of reminder today of what we look for in a home purchase, um, what we look for in good solid financial principles that, um, that we wanna have in place before we go and buy a home. So folks, happy home shopping if that's you, and as always, happy saving.